Novak Djokovic has always been known for being one of the nicest guys in tennis. The sport itself isn't always nice though. Recently, a video showing a father assaulting his own daughter after she lost a tennis match has been making its rounds on the internet, and Tennis Hall of Famer Pam Shriver has called on Djokovic for help. Let's take a look at that and more. First up, what happened in the viral video? The incident took place in Belgrade during a junior tennis tournament. Although neither of the parties involved in the video is a well-known public figure, the video still managed to go viral due to the severity of it. It showed a father brutally beating his 14-year-old daughter on the tennis court. It's not clear as to why he was assaulting her, but reports suggest that it may have been because the man's daughter lost a very important tennis match. We've seen parents lose their cool at their kids' sport events before, but this was something truly unprecedented. Twitter and other social media platforms allowed this video to spread like wildfire, with most users expressing their disgust at the parent shown in the video. Apparently, the man in the video was not Serbian, but Chinese. He wasn't a resident of Serbia either, and he presumably flew over there to participate in the local tournament. The video of the incident was first posted by Croatian actor Igor Juric on Twitter, where it received thousands of replies. One of the replies was from tennis legend Pam Shriver, who suggested that Novak Djokovic should try to bring more attention to this incident and help out in whatever way he can. Djokovic hasn't responded to the suggestion. However, it's confirmed that the Belgrade police have arrested the man behind the whole incident. The police are planning to file criminal charges against the man, and there's video evidence which should easily send him to jail. Up next, why would Shriver ask Novak Djokovic for help? Even though Novak Djokovic had nothing to do with the man shown in the video, he was still asked by Pam Shriver and many other people to raise his voice and help. However, some fans were confused as to why this was suddenly Djokovic's problem. Well, for starters, Djokovic is also from Serbia. He himself has played in the exact tennis court the incident took place numerous times in his life. It was one of his favorite venues, and for a tennis-related incident like this to occur in his hometown, down. It's clear that Djokovic needed to make some kind of response. However, the Serb didn't respond. This may be because he wanted to steer clear of any new controversies, but it can also be because he simply hasn't seen the video yet. After all, Djokovic is a very busy man who doesn't always have time to check out what's happening on Twitter and where he's being tagged. But there's also another reason why Djokovic was tagged by Pam and by many of his fans, because he's known for being nice. Djokovic has never been the kind of person to be shy about his feelings. He has always raised his voice to support others, especially aspiring tennis players. He was the guy with just the right amount of influence for this incident to reach more attention. He's one of the least selfish people in the world of tennis. And even though he may not have responded to this specific incident, there are more than a few cases of Djokovic doing the right thing. For example, remember the time when Djokovic overturned a decision in his own favor? There aren't a lot of tennis players out there that are willing to potentially give up a victory simply to do the right thing. But that's exactly what Djokovic did back in 2019. During that that year's French Open, Novak Djokovic went head-to-head -head against his 22-year-old German opponent Alexander Zverev. During the match, Zverev was serving at 4-3, and that's when he served a ball that Djokovic could not return. Even though neither of the players argued about it on the court, the match umpire called it out as an out. Both Djokovic and Zverev could clearly see the mark left by the ball, which showed that it was in, but the umpire stuck by his decision and refused to change it. This was when Djokovic, being the sportsman that he is, decided to take matters into his own hands. After taking a closer look at the mark left by the ball. Djokovic decided that the ball was in, and as a result, he allowed Zverev to have one more free serve. He was basically able to overturn a decision made by the umpire all by himself. Of course, if he wanted to, he could have easily just gone along with the umpire's decision and played the rest of the game with an advantage. However, Djokovic isn't the kind of guy who would enjoy winning a match after an unfair decision was made. This moment truly showed us just how big the Serbinator's heart can sometimes be. Not only that, but there was also that time when Djokovic held an umbrella for a ball boy. The 2014 French Open is widely remembered for a special moment that Novak Djokovic shared with one of the ball boys at the event. For some further context, ball boys and ball girls have a very specific purpose whenever it's raining during a tennis match. They're supposed to hold an umbrella over the heads of the players on court to prevent them from getting wet. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, most tennis players didn't seem to have a problem with it, but it seems like Novak Djokovic found the idea of having a kid hold an umbrella over his head a bit pretentious. That's why instead of letting the ball boy hold the umbrella. Djokovic just held it himself. Additionally, he asked the ball boy to sit next to him and held the umbrella for him the entire time. It was a very special moment that instantly went viral, and it shows just how nice Djokovic can be when he wants to be at least. This theme has been a constant in his career. He has never tried to show himself as better than anyone else. In this case, he allowed himself to be put on the same level as a ball boy, and in all honesty, he probably made that kid's year. Up next, Djokovic's closest friendships in tennis. Novak Djokovic's wholesome 
actions on the tennis court have certainly won him a lot of fans, but they have also earned him a lot of friends. The Serbian star is known for being well-liked by practically everyone in the world of tennis, including some of his rivals. In fact, he and his greatest rival ever, Rafael Nadal, are also known for being friendly with each other off-court. While they may not exactly be best friends, both players respect each other and always praise each other in interviews and press conferences. They're also apparently constantly in touch with each other. Djokovic has also recently formed a rather close friendship with Australian star Nick Kyrgios. This is despite the fact that both men probably have the exact opposite reputation when it comes to being nice. In fact, Kyrgios even used to bash Djokovic before he made it big in the tennis world, and there's a long history of bad blood between them. But in recent years, Kyrgios has become super close with Djokovic, admitting that they're in a bit of a bromance with each other. The Australian has continuously defended Djokovic over the Australian Open and US Open's decision to ban him from the tournaments, and they seem like they get along well. Of course, Djokovic is also friends with many other players, including Roger Federer, Daniil Medvedev, Andy Murray, Jonathan Ehrlich, and many more. And finally, what's next for Novak Djokovic's career? We could probably go on and on about what a nice guy Djokovic is, but at the end of the day, what really matters is how good of a player he is. Unlike Roger Federer or Rafael Nadal, Djokovic hasn't really been having a slump in his career. He still seems like he's fitter than ever before and ready to take on the young talent that's seemingly dominating tennis right now. He won Wimbledon, the Tel Aviv Open, and the Astana Open this year. He beat Rafael Nadal's record as the active player with the most singles ATP titles right now, and he's inching closer to beating the all-time record as well. For now, Djokovic's goal seems to be to compete in as many ATP Tour events as possible and win them all. It's not an easy feat, but if anyone can do it, it's him. Aside from that, he wants to compete in more Grand Slams. 2022 was a horrible year for him in that regard. Despite winning Wimbledon, he was banned from the US Open and the Australian Open. 2023 is going to be his year to shine though, but for now, Djokovic is focused on winning the Paris Masters as the man with the most Masters titles in the history of tennis. This shouldn't be hard for him, but the competition is truly stacked. From what we can see so far though, the day isn't far when Djokovic reclaims his crown as the number one ranked tennis player in the world. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think is next for Novak Djokovic? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.